I don't know if how many of you were here at the opening plenary where um, that was a long time ago now. All right. Uh, this one is way less organized than that one. Uh, <laughs> we're kind of at the end and we're all really tired and everything's coming apart at the seams. So uh, we're going to do this as best we can. Um, we're going to run through a few report backs from various things, uh, some tracks report backs, uh, some things about the Freedom Box, um, and some uh, information about the contest winder, winners for the RC bug squashing, and uh, some other stuff, some uh, Bosnia, quick Bosnia presentation, and then we're going to wrap it up. So uh, quickly, I guess we'll hand it off to DKG first. Hey, uh, so uh, I just wanted to get a couple uh, report backs from folks who uh, managed or were present at a lot of the things that went on with the tracks. So, um, uh, so the, I've mentioned this to those of you who are here, I think. Um, Pablo, you want to come up and give a brief report back on uh, what happened with the Java track or your, your takeaway from it? Um, and the other uh, track folks, if you could um, step up so we can just move through them. Hello. So the Java track started on Monday. We have a full day of talks. It was really, really uh, a track in the sense there was some homogeneity on the audience, and the audience was slightly different from the rest of the conference. So it was very nice to have a track and to be all of us in the same uh, room. I then got a little exhausted, <laughs> and uh, the people continued the conversation. They have a wrap-up uh, uh <coughs> buff on a Thursday night. And uh, the interesting thing was in the kickoff, Bob, they some problems, some issues were discussed, and, and in subsequent talks. And then on the on Thursday, some good solutions came up. And uh, now, as a track organizer, what I want to encourage is other people to step in and do it. It's a wonderful way for uh, junior people on the team, like my my case, to help that thing. I mean, the track organizer really just. When the talks come, says, "Well, this person submit a title only, but it's a really, really key contributor of the team, and, and it's going to be an awesome talk." And that's actually what happened with many of the talks. And second, you spend the whole day there, carrying the microphone around and stuff like that. So it's uh, you, you don't need to be like a, a very senior member and blah blah blah. It's actually I, I would imagine that it can work both ways. So uh, Russ Alber is going to give a report back on the enterprise uh, track. Yeah, so uh, I think the Enterprise track uh, w was a really wonderful success. I really want to thank Sam Hartman for, uh, for organizing that track. Um, I think that one of the, there's a few big takeaways from that. One of them uh, that I think a lot of people said over after several of the talks is, I'm not alone. It was definitely a feeling of, of a whole bunch of us who, who felt like, you know, we were off doing our thing and we weren't sure that anyone else was doing the same sort of thing. And as it turns out, there's a lot of us. <laughs> Uh, sort of the, the, the people who love stable track. <laughs> uh, we also um, discovered a Debian mailing list that uh, time had forgotten. Uh, so uh, Debian Dash Enterprise, uh, for those of you who run Debian in that sort of environment, um, it has gotten very little traffic. I suspect we are going to attempt to give it quite a bit more traffic in going forward. Um, and it's just, it was, it was really great to meet a lot of people who are doing similar kinds of work and using Debian to do it. And I think that the track system is, is wonderful for that because we all have our little specialties and being able to get together with a bunch of people who are doing similar kinds of thing inside Debian, it's just, it may, really does make you feel connected to a community. Uh, Adrian Knoth is going to give a uh, arts and multimedia report back. Hi, I am was the track coordinator of multimedia and also a member of the Debian multimedia team. And we were happy to announce that most of our work has made it into squeeze before the freeze. Um, <laughs> so the squeeze multimedia experience will so much better will be so much better to the user than it was with uh, the current stable. Um, we usually divide our work into uh, two parts. First is consumer side and the other one is producer. Um, video on the consumer side uh, is pretty good or will be pretty good in, in Squeeze. Um, we have support for a lot of codecs, playback basically works. Um, same holds true for audio production. Um, we are feeling confident with what we, we've done 
on the audio production side and um, it will work. However, multimedia is a very uh, fastly evolving topic. So we wonder how, uh, where we'll be in one or two years when stable is still stable and we will be probably far ahead of this and uh, we've been discussing this a lot. And perhaps Joey's idea of cut, stable cuts, uh, could address this issue or Debian and Volatile, we're not quite sure about this. However, we have also identified a lot of weaknesses, especially when it comes to nonlinear video editing on Linux. There's almost nothing to provide to the user. Uh, this is not a particularly a Debian problem, it's uh, Linux itself. And um, one said, um, if we could provide the tools uh, to produce uh, basic pornography, then we'll be ready. So. <laughs> So this will be our uh, goal for the next release. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, Michael Bank is going to give a report back on the science track. Yeah, I'm Michel Bank. I coordinated the science and math track. And I think it went really well. It was a great idea to have the tracks. There were a couple of people who just came in for that afternoon to DEPCONF who would probably not be able to make it otherwise, so it was a great idea. We had lots of good discussions about how to better integrate science stuff in Debian, how to better work together, and also to get it out uh, to the users, which are usually other scientists, people who write uh, upstream software. I want to thank all the contributors for um, doing this, and yeah, it was just great. Yeah. Thank you. And. Uh, not here today, I believe, is uh, Andy Oram and Frank Brocken, who organized the uh, community outreach track, which ended up sort of blending into some of the Debian Day events, which I think were uh, really good at getting a bunch of people out here who aren't necessarily hardcore developers, but are relevant, including uh, we had a speaker from the city council, um, and we had a bunch of talks from different people uh, who were bringing in different perspectives uh, about um, about how Debian and free software fit into the, the bigger picture uh, socially. So I think that was actually a really good uh, introduction for them to Debian and from, for us to these other issues that are going on. So um, before I turn it back over to uh, Biela, I think, um, I just want to mention that the folks, other folks who really did a lot of work to make this thing happen are the staff here at Columbia. And so there's a big uh, piece of paper that you can sign your name and say thanks. Uh, and I'm going to make sure that this plus our group photo plus the DebConf10 logo <laughs> gets put on something nice and reasonable that we can give them that it'll be a nice small framed thing that they can hang on their wall back in the server room or something when they remember that odd summer in 2010 when this horde of geeks descended on them. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to have this right outside out, uh, uh, right after this so you can just stop by and sign it. Um, and then it's going to be in the CS Hack Lab until we shut that down. So please stop by and just sign your name. I think it would be pretty great to get a bunch of uh, all kinds of different people just saying thanks for them. And it would reinforce for them that this kind of thing is what they want to support in the future. So. Thanks. Okay. Cool. Uh, we have someone standing over there with his arm up. <laughs> okay. Yes, so this is totally random, and I heard the Debian multimedia team would be satisfied when we have software so we can produce pornography in Debian. This is a very bad joke. Once, two years ago, I uh, promised myself that I would never be silent f uh, if I saw a sexist joke. This was at a Debian work session, so I'm very happy now to actually enforce my promise and this is a sexist joke, and it should not be allowed in Debian. Um, so, continuing on the report backs, um, Antoine is going to say something about the Freedom Box, which, uh, after Evan Moglin's talk, uh, I don't know how many times there was uh, impromptu boffs happening in rooms that we didn't even organize or reserve. Uh, <laughs> uh, so the people have been really excited about this and he's just going to give a quick uh, report back on generally the discussions. So yeah, basically uh, the Freedom Box became the unofficial 
and track of this, <laughs> this conference. Uh, it was a lot of enthusiasm after the uh, Ibn Moglen speech, and I think a lot of people were already working on this, but it kind of consolidated everything that everybody was doing into a common direction. So uh, we have now uh, Aliyah project, uh, mailing list set up. We have a lot of people involved in the project and a lot of, of, a lot of enthusiasm. Uh, we have started uh, working out the details of the infrastructure and the pieces that are missing. Uh, people are very welcome to get involved. There's uh, RSC Channel, the Aliot Project's called, originally enough, uh, Freedom Box because uh, of a lack of a better name for now. And um, I think that the takeaway I get from that is I've been working on, on this for a long time. I think a lot of people have been working on this for a long time. And we've just been lacking the common goals and the common vision for this to happen and I think now we have it and we can start moving forward and I welcome everybody here to just get involved and start working on this because it's pretty much the best project I've seen so far uh, in a long time. So there you go. Thank you Antoine. Um, so just on, on following on the theme of report backs, does anybody else want to give a report back about anything else that happened here? Just want to open it up. Going once twice okay um, maybe next what we can do is uh, maybe Eric or Holger you want to say something about video I don't know if Eric's here but uh, everybody big round of applause for Holger and the video team thanks but I'm just standing here for I don't know 30 or 40 people so I would like everybody on the video team to stand up please so that you can give the applause to everyone. <laughs> we have created a wiki page where you can say thank you. If you want to see videos again next year, please do so. This motivates us greatly to do it again. So, or please don't, whatever. <laughs> Um, then um, about cleanup, one thing, please don't clean up this room or inter-school and not the server room, but you cannot get into the server room. Cleaning up the hack lab is fine for us. This room we will take care of tomorrow mostly. I know there's some stuff for which people borrowed to us which we need to give them back today. I'll take care of that. Um, and for the video team who, want, who will do some th work here, we'll still need to review the DV files today. But that's the only work we want to do today, because then we want to party like everybody else. Um, for this cleanup thing, after when the session is over, we'll take 50 minutes break and then meet here again. That's it. Thank you all for helping the video team. Thanks a lot to the video team. Um, next we have uh, Biela, right? Yeah. For yeah. Okay. So who here went to Coney Island? All right, do you guys have a good time? It's a pretty crazy place. I was actually trying to describe what tacky, kitschy, corny was to people who didn't know those words. And as a cultural anthropologist, I was completely stumped, actually. But I know many of you were there for a particular reason, and that has to do with seeing our fearless leader give a pitch. And so I wanted to, um, this was before. He gave the pitch, well, not probably technically, but the spirit, he was serious and worried. And then, afterwards, <laughs> this is how he was, relieved and happy, in part because he actually did a really great job. And so, everyone keep calm and quiet because we have a video, but it went extremely, extremely quick. I don't think so, but that's all right, because it's about the pitch, not the sound. No need to be So we just want to thank everyone who helped organize the day trip to lead the teams and make it uh, hopefully a wonderfully sunny, sandy day. Okay, so I'm also going to talk... 
Actually, can we just no play it over and over again? There we go. <laughs> All right. So, and, and you should come up, Zach, too, because we're going to do volunteers now. So I'm going to talk a little bit about volunteers, and really I'm going to thank them. Um, and it was a kind of a real honor to help with the volunteer effort, in part because it's a real microcosm of what happens on the Debian project, where it's um, people's uh, desire and care and love for the project, which kind of propels it forward. And although volunteering is often a very individual effort, it's obviously quite infectious. So the more you see people volunteer, the more you want to volunteer. And actually, to prove that point, everyone who did anything for DebConf here, prior, please stand up. Front desk, talkmeisters, running around, graphics, video, everything. Talkmeister. So clearly, more about like half the room is standing up. So it's quite clear that this would just not be possible without the um, help and uh, effort and care that everyone's given. So please, a huge, huge round of applause for everyone. So um, people here obviously know about some folks, such as Daisy, uh, Mr. Beige, AKA Richard Darst, who have really put in a lot of effort. But I actually want to highlight a few volunteer efforts that are a little bit uh, less visible, um, just to give you a sense of what goes into this. So there was a fellow called Charles DeRoy who woke up at 3 in the morning to meet Otavio and his family at the airport. And actually, no one had ever really quite met him. I mean, we'd been in communication with him. And um, so that was really wonderful. Patty, uh, where's Patty? Uh, not here. Well, she was actually deemed as she's, the- She's not here over in the corner. Oh, she's not here over in the corner. <laughs> there she is. She um, helped bring order out of chaos by taking over the front desk coordination. And she was also deemed as the most responsible person at DebConf for taking Luke to the hospital. So I want people to thank Patty. She signed a paper that, you know, claims she's the most responsible person here. So it's official. St. Luke's Hospital. Okay, um, then there's another person, Kevix. Is Kevix here? There you go. Stand up, Kevix. <laughs> Kevix actually did thousands of things strung together, and so a great example of how every little bit counts. And again, I'm just highlighting a few folks that maybe not, were not so visible, but really everyone's efforts counts. So with that um, in mind, we have actually put every single volunteer in and out of Debian, anyone who has helped in any sort of way into this bag, and Zach is going to pick a winner and tell you about the prize. So yes, yeah, thanks, Biela. So the prize came from HP, and it's a kind of uh, very fancy prize. It's a laptop, or maybe a mix between a laptop and a tablet. So I'm not that into hardware these days, but it is, uh, what's the name again? I, I looked at it. So in a, okay, so it's an Elite book, 2540p. And it's a kind of uh, eye hand, one of the newest model of HP. So we, HP deserve an applause for that, appla for that <laughs> gift that gives to us. <laughs> but actually, the most important feature of the laptop is that it comes with Debian pre-installed. So I'm going to pick up one, a name of one of the volunteers, which one this. Drum roll, if you can. <laughs> and the winner is Carl Karsten. Is he in the room?
So maybe next year you might want to volunteer too. <laughs> so we have another prize which is kind of same value at least for what it takes to produce it. So it is a DVD of Sita Sing the Blues. <laughs> and the DVD I think with... No, no never mind. <laughs> so and the winner is... Wouter. And I apologize for having not spelled properly your name, I guess. That's fine. I would just like to say f thank you very much because I actually missed the viewing, so now I have a second chance. Wonderful. <laughs> okay. This is the final part of the volunteer uh, session, but would members of the local and global team please come up on stage for one final thank you. Thanks again, and I think Micah knows who's, who's next in the lineup. Yeah, we're uh, almost done. I think all the local and global team probably would, can't wait. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think the last thing, what, oh no, we have two, two remaining things. Um, the next thing is the, during, thr there might be another thing here. Uh, oh yeah, there's a couple people that aren't here. It, we, there's, a couple, there's people that aren't here, but we should just particularly thank Jimmy since he's getting our food ready outside. Jeremy, Jeremy, not Jimmy. <laughs> but we should thank Jimmy too. <laughs> yeah? Someone? In yeah, hello. I'm part of the video team. Uh, I would like to thank you all to be here, but especially I would like to thank uh, Igars to keep uh, photographies for all DevComs. And I think he should be part of somehow the video team as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thank you, Igars. All right, so uh, throughout DevConf, um, there has been a RC bug squashing contest. I, I don't know if you all heard, but Squeeze was uh, frozen the other day. And uh, if you don't know what Squeeze is, you're in the wrong conference. Um, and to here to announce the big winners and the prizes, uh, Gregor and Mady. Yeah, thanks, Micah. So these two weeks were not only fun, but also hard work, part of the hard work was squashing RC bugs. Uh, Micah and Zach came up with the idea of making it into a contest. Obviously some people participated without even knowing that they might get prizes. <laughs> well, now is the time for the prizes and for the winners. But before I go through the list, Midi will tell you some of the impressive numbers. Uh, so I'd like to thank all the participants of uh, the contest. We had 20 participants, so few numbers about this um, contest. We had um, around 450 bu RC bugs reported since during the last two weeks. We managed to fix half of them already. Wow. We managed to do fix during the these two weeks 400 RC bugs, and um, for the during this contest, so our participants fixed 139 RC bugs in testing and unstable, and around tw um, 80 bugs in stable, <laughs> which is great. <laughs> so, 
So really many thanks for all the participants that uh, participate to this contest. So. Okay, I'd like to start with this special category stable. Originally the contest was for getting bugs squashed towards the freeze of squeeze, which went rather well, but we also have stable and it's totally important to also fix bugs there. There's also a, a stable fan group, Russ has told us about. <laughs> oh, and Hol Holger too. Yeah, and the winner, it's not a big surprise, but the amount is really huge. The winner of the stable category is Ronda, Gerfried Fuchs, who alone managed to close 77 bucks in stable. So, Ronda, if you are listening, we will send you a package with some nice books. I hope you appreciate them. The second person who took part in the stable category is Ansgar Burchardt, who fixed two bugs. I think in the meantime, there are actually four. I just relieved the closed <laughs> mail <laughs> before. Okay, and in the main category, there are some impressive prizes. We have two HP netbooks. No, I don't know the numbers and I don't want to look them up. <laughs> these are these small black thingies. That's for, <laughs> that's for, this, for the second and the third uh, place. And the first prize is a guru plug uh, donated by Marvel. The uh, box says Shiva plug, but it is a guru plug inside. <laughs> I was told by Micah. Maybe we should change the label, yeah. <laughs> okay, so the guy who f who came in third and will get one of these HP netbooks is Alexander reichlich Mehl, also no known as Tolima. <laughs> uh, he finally fixed 16 RC bugs. And he was very active in the last hours. I think yesterday evening he, uh, he was in the, the fifth place. <laughs> so yeah, your efforts really worked out. Second place and the second netbook also goes to Germany. <laughs> with 17 RC bucks, the uh, winner of the second prize is Nico Gulde. Well, and then there's one guy who actually managed to fix 32 RC bucks. That's, m well, almost more than the next one together. And this one is a well-known member of the security team. It's Moritz Mühlenhof. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Moritz, are you? Yes. Ah, he left already. <laughs> well, that said, I wanted to get rid of this stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I just named the other people to give them credit in the in the order. The fourth place is Colin Watson. Then I think. I think he fixed mostly bugs in Grub 2, which is much appreciated by many people. <laughs> so <laughs> then again, Ansgar Burchardt, Chris Lamb, Ben Hutchings. Then we have, if, <laughs> if you look at the list, a very huge cell in the table. That's Lukas Nussbaum, uh, who also added the bugsy file, but he also fixed eight RC bugs. Okay, then we have Andrew Lee, Nobuhiro Iwamatsu, Salvatore Bonacorso, Sefraim Zanikolas, Maximilia, Maximiliano Curia, Stefan Klundu, Anna Guerrero, Gerfried Fuchs again, Garden Stein, Steinlin, Hideki Yamane, Chris Butler and Michael Prokop. Okay, so for all of the people from the 4th to the 18th uh, place, we have some books. 
it would take a bit too long to uh, hand them out now. So please, everyone who has participated in the contest, come here afterwards and you can select the books you want, actually. And for all of those who have participated and, and are not here, we will send you the prizes. Or maybe you can name someone uh, who can bring it to you. So either contact us now or you will receive a mail and we will uh, manage it somehow. Thank you. All right, thanks to um, these guys for running the uh, RC bug squashing contest. We almost were able to not only freeze, but also release squeeze during the conference. So that would have been great. Uh, we tried, and good try. Um, we're also giving a volunteer t-shirt to everyone. If you're here, try to find me.